The time has come to start the first session of the race weekend. It's practice for the Malaysia Grand Prix. So after the first race, how do you think this season will compare to previous years? Well, I hope that we're in for a fantastic season. The Mercedes team have certainly come out of pre-season testing the strongest, which is all well and good, but it's the racing where the pace really counts. It's always difficult to predict, therefore, who's going to come out on top. The new regulations for this year say goodbye to the somewhat unique nose designs that we saw on the 2014 cars. The 2014 changes were brought in to promote safety, but I don't think it was anticipated how the teams would exploit the regulations. This year, those regulations have been tightened up to give us a more traditional look to the noses on the 2015 cars. What can we expect to see our unit to be particularly strong this year? So I wouldn't be surprised to see them at the front. But I wouldn't discount Red Bull or Ferrari just yet. We know they have the talent and the resources to react to any problem. So although they may be playing catch up, I would expect them to bring some major upgrades pretty early, maybe before we even get back to Europe. It's been a mighty qualifying performance from Mercedes today with both cars on the front row for the race tomorrow. They've really worked hard this weekend and it seems they've been able to set up the cars perfectly today. Whether this will translate into race pace tomorrow, well, we'll just have to wait and see. The crowd are here and here in force for what is going to be a fantastic day of racing. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. What a great start to the season for Nico Rosberg. He's on pole for today's race. He'll be delighted with how qualifying went yesterday, but knows there's a lot of hard work to come before he can secure that race win. Well, Nico will be focused on the task at hand. He's on pole position, he's proven his speed, and if he can just stay out in front, he should be able to create a gap. So I think he's got a good chance of victory today, as long as he has no car issues along the way. So what would you have been doing overnight if you were Lewis Hamilton, to make up the time difference that he needs to make up based on yesterday's qualifying times? He clearly has a pretty good balance in the car, he just needs to work out where he can squeeze an extra tenth or two to make up the difference.
Travel the world and take part in the ultimate racing event. This is Championship Season Mode. The pre-season testing is over, now begins the real work for the teams as they aim for the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. Round one of a tough race calendar begins here in Australia. Anthony Davidson joins me in the commentary box for the first practice session of the season. The teams will be visiting tracks across five continents as they battle it out for both the Drivers' and the Constructors' Championships. What race on the calendar do you think the teams will have a special eye on this year? Well, I think the teams will be looking forward to the Mexican Grand Prix, which is being held back at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. It was last run way back in 1992. This year sees Honda return to the sport, reforming one of the greatest partnerships in F1 history with McLaren. Do you think they can rekindle the success they had during the 80s and the 90s? It won't be easy, but yes, I think so. It's been a tough few years for McLaren with the loss of Hamilton, Mercedes withdrawing as a shareholder and major investor in the team, and losing technical director Paddy Lowe. This could mark the start of their return to prominence. Okay, this is Jeff. Can you hear me? Radio check looks good. System check looks good. Just want to say it's a pleasure to have you on the team, and I hope we have a lot of success together. Tell me if you need anything. Show us what you've got. 